Welcome to um, another video that I'm putting forth uh, to show how to use the reg hdfe command. Uh, before we continue, please, if you've not done so, kindly subscribe to this channel uh, to get regular updates on simple econometric tools that can help you in your research and in your in your um, in your studies. Uh, so the reg hdfe command in Stata actually stands for the regression with high dimensional fixed effect. It is primarily used when dealing with data sets that have a large number of fixed effects or data set with a large number of categorical variables. And this can pose you know, serious computational challenges or lead to inefficient estimation using traditional regression methods. The reg HD HEFI command in Stata allows you to estimate regression models that include fixed effects for individual entities or groups uh, such as panel data or cross-sectional data and also it supports a wide range of fixed effect estimation method including uh, you know country fixed effect, entity fixed effect, time fixed effect and also two-way fixed effect and even interaction fixed effect so in this example I'm going to show you today I'm going to show you how to use uh, this command with fixed effects in terms of absorbing fixed effect. Uh, to do that the first thing you need to do is we need to uh, start by installing the F2. If you've not done that, I have done that already, so I won't need to run it again. So you install F2s uh, into your stator. Then when you've done that, then you can also now install the package itself. The, it's called the IV reg HD FE package. Uh, so I've also installed it on my my system, so I don't need to do that again. Uh, so once you've done these two installations, um, this, I'm going to demonstrate a simple command to show how to use this uh, package. Uh, this command, is, so the, the, the command is reg hdfe, reg hdfe, and then you put your dependent variable. For me, my dependent variable is growth rate of GDP for the United Kingdom. And please understand that I'm not trying to show, I'm not using this to show, you know, causation or correlation these are just random variables that i picked for the purpose of doing this video so the results you may see are necessarily not uh, showing any message or passing across any information the purpose of this is just to show you how to use the command and that's it uh, so the first impute after the command is the dependent variable then followed by all your independent variables that you want to include in the model uh, for me i would just want uh, two independent variable that's annual temperature uh, annual temperature for me in my data set is called these and then annual precipitation um, annual precipitation okay Okay, good. So now the next thing you need to do is now you tell Stata what fixed effect do you want to include? What fixed effect do you want to include? So you put your absorb, you use your absorb um, command. This absorb command tells Stata that you have some fixed effects that you want to include. And you could include entity fixed effect, you could include year fixed effect. So for a start, let's just include all these fixed effects. Uh, for my entity, I have um, county county fixed effect that is called CID and I also have region fixed effect and then I could also include the year fixed effect as a time fixed effect. So I put the three fixed effect, these are high dimensional fixed effect and then the normal standard error clustering. I want to cluster, I want to cluster by, um, I want to cluster by county at county level so that's that's why i have that uh, cid there so if you run this now it gives you um it brings out the result here you go so uh here you go these are the results uh it tells you that uh this is a high dimensional fixed effect linear regressions and these are the standard outputs you have in stata number of observations and the the r square and stuff like that and so these are just additional information telling you that three fixed effect groups have been ob have been absorbed. So the the, the model um, in controls for these fixed effect groups but do not report 
report the estimate so they've been absorbed and what are these three fixed effect groups you can find them here you have the county fixed effect uh, the number of groups there categories 373 the region fixed effect there are 12 categories and then the number of years there are 22 categories uh, so these are the these are the uh, coefficients or uh, the estimate of the coefficients of the independent variables like i said i'm not trying to infer anything here these are just uh, randomly picked just to show uh, to show um, to demonstrate how to use this command um, and the last thing I want to do before I leave is to show how you could also do some form of interaction fixed effect interaction using this command so let's let's, let's assume that for example I want to interact uh, the region fixed effect and the year fixed effect I just simply use um, the ash um, Ash sign to kind of um, pull the two together, the region fixed effect and the year fixed effect, and so this is an interaction, and then I'm so I'm having a single fixed effect, uh, county fixed effect, and an interaction fixed effect, and so if you do the two, um, so you have this, uh, so now it's been it's two fixed effect, but one of the fixed effects an interaction, and you can see in that interaction you have 264 categories. All right, so, uh, so this is a simple way of um, using um, the reg HDFE for uh, analysis, whether panel data, this is panel data, and you could also use it for cross-sectional analysis. In the comment below, I'll drop the, uh, the link to a material or a resource that can help you to explore more tools, more functionalities uh, using this command. Until next time, um, Take care of yourself and I hope to catch you later. Bye.